Previously I showed some flow techniques that relied on exploding geometry and animation techniques. Recently a customer asked if there were simple ways to show flow, show pressure changes, and show gas tanks filling up without having to rely on modifying geometry, or even if it was all one piece of geometry, or no geometry at all, and not using any keyframe animation. So here are a couple simple techniques that might just do the trick. First, the simple moving path trick. I'll just go up and choose the polyline tool from the author tab and quickly drop out some points on the geometry here. Now this works if you don't have geometry as well, but it will snap to the geometry. I'm just roughing some points out. And remember to use your tab key if you run into some overlapping geometry. We'll just drop a few more points here in the line. And then I'm going to go over to use one, a preset camera view. This comes in handy. And I'll smooth the, the line in the properties panel. Now I can go back and tweak these points, add nodes or remove nodes if I want. And then just come up with a line that somewhat shows the path that I want to take. Now that we have the line just about where we want it, I'm going to go ahead use my camera view again and I'm going to go to my advanced properties on the line and choose the arrow. You can use any kind of arrow you want. I'm going to use the medium arrow with a symbol size of about 4 and maybe change the spacing between the symbols to 0.5. And I create a view on that. Now here's the trick. If I zoom out slightly you can see it's going to look like the arrows are moving along the flow. I'll just make another view. And then as I go between the views, you'll see it looks like the arrows are going to be moving forward to designate some flow. Very handy, quick, easy way to do that. Now the next little section is to create some pressure change. So sometimes it's difficult, so I just use this pressure gauge that I found on 3D Content Central, typed in gauge here and grabbed this CAD model and import it in the composer. Now what you can do too is also, I've added this gauge to my model browser so I can use it anytime I want. And I've also created a little geometry primitive here that I can change the color to. So just dropping in a light blue color. And I've broken apart the model so I can animate the needle. So I've just got the needle separate here and I'm gonna rotate that up. And remember, if you go beyond 180 degrees, it might go backwards, so keep that in mind. Change the color again and added another one here. So now it animates between those two. Very quick, easy way to show a pressure change. You can also do this with different shapes. If you don't have any geometry and you wanted to simulate like a bladder or some kind of a pipe filling up, you could just throw down some points on a polyline, use the fill, maybe change the color a little bit here, and I'll create a view. And then you can animate those shapes of the points and color to, to designate a change in pressure. Just changed a few points here. First animate the needle up and change the color. And then you can see between these two views, it looks like the pressure's going up and the bag is inflating. A couple of really nice little simple tricks to do quick and easy animation without using keyframes. Now for the final, having gas tanks filling up, I just drew a primitive polyline on the view one and changed the shape on view two, and, and again, animating between the two. You could use a geometry primitive here if you wanted to and map a texture on and get fancy. Um, and you can refer back to the animating flow podcast that I did earlier, but very simple, easy ways to quickly get the information across. Hope these little tricks helped.